Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a unfamiliar sight, I guess you could say. Although, if you have been continuously watching the series, it probably is a familiar sight. Welcome back to Transport Fever White Valley. And my god, it has been a while, hasn't it? It's been nine months since the last episode ever. I very much wanted to continue on with this series for two reasons. One, it has a lot of potential, and two, in my free time, I didn't record it, but I went ahead and essentially completed this map. It took me about 40 odd hours, so it took me an extremely long time, but I connected up every single town and every single goods plant to something to go ahead and really do extremely well on this map, to be honest. It has done and does have a lot of potential, and I can't wait to go ahead and do this, I guess, on record now. So, where do we start? Well, first of all, I think I want to just go ahead and recap where we were and also just talk about some of the changes. So, the first thing you can probably notice is that the quality is a tiny bit better because I've been able to up everything with regards to the graphics. Everything is on high or very high and the game has been optimized incredibly well. It means, for example, I can do this it's not flawless, don't get me wrong, but it is still very, very good compared to what it used to be. And this means we can take series much further. There was so many problems that I previously had. After our series got to about even 15 episodes or so, it was just getting so jumpy and so laggy. It was just so difficult to play. However, this is me recording with a really nice bitrate in 1080p. Arguably, you might not be watching it in that but it is just so smooth and it's so beautiful and it's great. And this is going to make for a much more enjoyable experience. On top of that, quite a few new actual in-game features have been added as well, which we will explore. Some stuff to do with, for example, curved railway stations and a lot of new mods have also come out in the past nine months as well, which I have added into the game and we might make use of some of them. With regards to our actual current save, we're doing quite well in general as you can see. This is the finances, so all in all doing very well on the dollar bills. We're up at about 100 million, but there's a lot of large expansion which I want to do and I really want to go ahead and connect and build, really just expand the rail network. The rail network is the big thing we need to do on this map because in general the towns are really, really spread out, so we want to go ahead and continue to work on that expansion and then uh, just going around the map you can see that a lot of the map hasn't been touched at the very end of episode 12 we're starting to come down here to Kendall this is new so as you can see Kendall is very much not exactly reconnected up but I just want to give you an overview of the whole I guess map so far so Hetton, Hetton is essentially our capital, it has two train stations, the Bayside station which basically connects trains in that direction, connecting up to Burnham, Telscom, eventually I want to build a line which just comes right down, crosses over probably around about this river here, and then keeps going down here to Prince, Prince's Risborough, which I'm going to change that name, and then Doncaster, so we can have a direct train there. I might go on ahead and extend up to Newton Abbott, but that is an incredibly long distance, so we'll have to see about that. Then we've got this northern train station, or city train station. I've called it Central, and I think this one should be Bayside here. Basically, what happens from here is it comes up here to Hampstead, and then Hampstead is essentially a very big junction. Right now, trains continue on round to Chorley, which is nice. However, going forwards, they are going to go up to Bawtree and Port Ishhead. We've also got another line right now going around to Banger or Bon Gore, I guess that's spelt, but I'm going to change that just for my liking. And then we've got Southgate over here as well, with the intention, I think, later down the line of extending the line to Spalding, maybe even Newton Abbott as well, and sort of just go for an outside loop, because this corner of the map, as you can see, is not linked up at all yet. So with that said, let's go ahead and crack on. That is really all the passenger connections. Again, there's some towns up this end which haven't been connected. And one or two down here, as I said, with Doncaster. Outside of that, there's a lot of industry which we still need to go ahead and start harvesting. We have made a good start in around the 
Hampstead and Hetton region. However, I think we really need to go ahead and expand that and keep on top of that because it looks like there has been a good start to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and I don't even really know where to start to be honest. I think we're actually going to go ahead and just address a few issues first of all before we get properly into this. So I have been looking back at some people's comments as well and there's been very familiar suggestions. For example, certain kinds of trains that people have been wanting. As I said, I have added one or two new ones and I do want to have a diverse rail network just based on the fact I don't want to have all the same trains. Don't get me wrong, there are trains which are much more profitable, however I think it's good to have a mixture. With regards to locomotives, I've been very much recommended to have the Class 37. Uh, a few other trains, I'm sure. Uh, Class 37 again. That one's really nice actually. The EWS stands for England, Wales and Scotland. And a lot of freight get carried by those trains. You still see them around in this country actually. I actually seen one about two or three weeks ago. However, a lot of them have now got DB on the side, which stands for uh, Deutsche Bahn, I think, uh, because they are now quite a big goods carrier in with the United Kingdom. As we can see here, we have got a very, very long train coming in here, and this is the Burnham to Hetton line, which the train is relatively full. This comes along here, and as we can see, Burnham itself is quite a busy station too. Right, so what we're going to do, as I said, is we're going to start to address some issues first of all, and we're going to start off no better place than our capital here in Hetton. So with regards to train travel, things are quite good. The good thing is, I can now go into time steady speed and not really worry about the game shitting itself. That is something which is much more exciting, because I very much had to play the game very cautiously, as I said in the later stages, as time went on. Right, so we've got a Hetton to Telscom here, which is obviously... Hold up. Okay, yep, yeah, so it's the train, so I want to get a more direct train coming in there. That bus route is extremely popular, it's looking like, as we can see from in here. Quite a lot of people waiting. The bigger route, it looks like, is Coburn to Hetton. Now, can we get a railway line over there? I very much think we can do so. However, Coburn is very much on a hill, and this is the worst setup ever here, from what I remember. So we could go ahead and start to build a railway line up here, however, it would be a very, very long one. I'd very much have to come up the mountainside here. I could possibly go for a tunnel, but then again, I don't have the largest amount of money. I could always look around the other side of the hill, come along the coast and wrap round here, and then maybe come up here. However, I'm not at all sure what I want to go for yet. I think realistically I would like one big loop actually and trains eventually running a loop down from Hetton to Maidstone to Coburn and having that maybe as a continuous train. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some modifications here. So right now this line here is primarily used for coal which is great and I think we're harvesting coal from just here right now. Maybe down here as well actually so I think we're doing it from here too which is nice. Trucks must be taking the goods from here, Burnham Coal, yeah, from there up to our train station here, which is ideal, and that's getting transported across the map up to, must be here. Oh no, it's not. Where is it going? It's continuing up. Okay, so it's continuing up here to make steel. The requirements are iron and coal, and I'm getting iron from nearby yeah not too far away just over here by the town of Chorley so we've got some good connections there what I want to start off by doing is um changing this railway line up though that's the one thing I do want to do so I don't want to build a totally separate railway line I'm happy to continue on like this however we're just going to need to make some modifications for it so the first thing I'm going to do is delete this engine house here because it is right in the way and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and First of all, delete these two signals, that's what they're called. I was going to call them junctions there, but not quite. So what I want to do is simply go for... This could be really messy, actually, and it is going to be messy. I'm just trying to think the best way to do this without having to slow the trains down drastically, but I don't think I really have much choice. Realistically, I'd like to just do a simple 
junction like that and that could work for that track however I don't think it's going to work for the other track so we'll go for something like that and I would like to do something like that however this cross rail is just a bit of a it's a bit unrealistic right now so what I'm going to have to go for is something totally different something I don't necessarily want to go for and trains are really going to have to slow down but that's just the way things are going to have to be unfortunately so we'll go for something like that that's too much curvature, however. The problem is as well, is we've got a separation of the train lines here too, which doesn't make things any easier at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to relay that piece of track there a bit closer together this time. And we'll go for something like that. That then allows me to create this a little bit easier. And then we can have something simply like that. So again, we're going to have to add in more signals. And then what I'm going to do, because these two tracks are separate, I've got a feeling I remember when I built this tunnel, I didn't group them together, so it unfortunately meant there's two single tunnels here. You can have something like that nice and easy, and hopefully that doesn't affect the line speeds too much anyway. I'm just trying to think how you actually get back in line speeds. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So all in all, if you're turning off to go now down towards Telscom and Maidstone, it is going to be a little bit of a slowdown, however, these things are going to have to happen. So with that part of the infrastructure done, what I want to do is go for a new section of line coming down here. So what I'm going to have here is just before this bend here, I'm going to have the lines, I guess, cut off. Or what I am actually going to do is I'm going to redo this whole section here. And then I'm going to flatten it out as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and then these sections here so the new main line is going to come it's going to cross over this like so so it's going to go off just to the slight right and then we're going to bring these lines in here our good old coal lines now the problem is i think the height might be a bit of an issue here because i don't think these lines are necessarily the same height which is problematic as we can see you can tell i'm still getting reused to the controls again it has been a while since I have played this properly. So we can quite easily actually get a line going over there, however, it's not really ideal at all. Though it might have to do for the time being. With regards to this left track here, this should be a lot easier. I should just be able to do something like so. And then what I'll do is I'll maybe have this run along in parallel and just join in like that. However, again, we're getting too much slope. So I'm going to get this track to run in parallel for a bit longer and then join in like that. So again, maybe not the prettiest and not against traditional building for me because I do very much like my railway lines going a certain way. However, it's safe to say I have actually watched a bit of Transport Fever very much. Uh, Colonel Failure is uh, he's such a talented YouTuber and his Transport Fever series, not that he's done overly too much recently, has been playing a game called Railway Empire or Rail Empire, I do apologize. Uh, it's a game that's just come onto my radar, so it's a game that I'm also looking to play as well for those who are asking, and we'll probably follow this series of Transport Fever. Anyway, so let's go ahead and continue on the building of this line. So that's, I guess, the, the coal resorted out now. So what we're going to have is we're going to have this railway line just coming along the coast here. Now things are going to get interesting when we cross over the other track just down here because ideally we'd like a railway station here. Now as I said I would like to go for a loop that loops round into Maidstone and then finally over into Coburn and we build that as a railway line. However what I'm actually wanting as well as I said at the start of the episode is a railway line which comes over from Hetton, comes along and down and then continues down the river to Princess... Risboro and also Doncaster. Before I do anything else, we're going to change this um, town name to Prince Dobster, just because that's easier to say. So Prince Dobster is a town, which is pretty... It's a better name anyway, I think it is. It's not really a town name, but it's um, it means something to me, I guess you could say. So anyway, we've got Doncaster down there as well. I would like to have, I guess, a, a crossroads here. And this as well means that there can be individual trains. There's a train right now going from Burnham to Maidstone, and there must be a train going from Kendall to Maidstone. So we can leave those in play. 
Or we could always bring the railway line across, come into this station here, and then have the railway line come out, and then back across the river. Or would that be too messy? Realistically, I think it would make more sense if it did go in via Maidstone, but I would also like to have a railway station out here, for example. So that means that people can change trains and continue on. But, uh, what am I going to go for? Tell you what, I'm not. I'm going to actually take the railway line now into Maidstone. I think that's maybe a slightly better idea to go for. So what we're going to do is build another bridge here like so. However, I need the right angle to go in at. That's the biggest problem. That should be okay, actually. So if we go ahead and double that bridge up. Fortunately, it's not costing me too much just because we're at a, a part, I guess you could say, of the river where it's quite thin. So that comes over like that nicely. This is going to be the next problem, though, the approach to this station and the exit from this station because this station is in a very you could say difficult place. So what I want to do, this is more of a long-term build here, but what we're going to go for is we're going to pre-build this exit tunnel. This is something I want to do now. So if we go ahead and first of all cancel that, I want to go ahead and take the line out there. I want this to go out very slowly, or as fast as I can, I guess, actually. So 86 miles per hour is quite good. And I want to keep it at the one height because this is going to be majorly underground. If we can keep it about 88 miles per hour, that's ideal. Keep that at the same height and then have you come across and out there. And then we'll deal with that another time. So that really picks up a lot of speed there. So the lowest you'll go in that tunnel is 86 miles per hour. That's going to connect up to Prince Dobster at another time. So what I want to do is I want to just group the, these two tunnels together. That's cost me a bit of money there, but it's definitely worth it in the long term. And that means now we've got a connection between Maidstone and, or we will anyway, Prince Dobster, nice and easily. So with that problem solved, we need to go ahead and address this entrance issue here into Maidstone. What I'm going to first of all have to do is sort of have and get the trains to, I need them to cross over each other if you will. Now that can be solved relatively easily, however with tunnels it's not always that easy at all actually. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to have the crossover before. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it as it is actually and I'm going to have this approach here and then we're just going to have to have it cross over and go in like that. Well that's going to be really ugly and because we're on a slope as well this really isn't going to work. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this back quite drastically. I'm going to need to flatten it a bit just so I can go ahead and get my approach line in. I'm probably better building this line first actually, though again too much slope. The problem is we're building up too high, that's my big issue here. We can definitely gain quite a bit of height though on the approach, so that's not too big an uh, issue to solve. So if we go ahead and connect you up there, again it's wanting to go downhill which is just not ideal at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring you across and bring you into parallel like so. Actually, realistically, we'd like you to cross there. That would be super ideal, yes. Now, again, we are probably going to drop a tiny bit of speed here. Quite a bit, actually. It goes from 186 to 68 miles per hour. However, I'm sure we can go ahead and improve on that at a later time. Though, again, this is not working out too well here, is it? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and redo all this section and I'll come back to you in a second. And there we have it. So all in all, that is pretty much that line done. I've also signalled it up as well, which is ideal. So we've got it coming over the bridge here. We've got a nice crossing now, much better and a much better, slightly lower than before crossover. And we can probably just tidy up the train here just a tiny bit, like so. And there we go, that looks much nicer now with all the signals in place as well. So that means we can go ahead and pretty much launch that new route. However, I'm going to continue on with this build. So, I guess the original aim for this whole build was to have a line from Hetton to Coburn. What you do is you change it Maidstone, because I've already got a line from Maidstone going down to Kendall now. 
So that addresses that issue for the time being anyway. However, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort Coburn out itself anyway, because this isn't going to last. I'm going to need more than two platforms here going down the line if I want to go ahead and have more trains coming in here, or larger trains, because on the hill side here, it's not ideal. There's no room for expansion. Realistically, both of these stations, because realistically, again, we're going to have more cargo coming in here, they're going to try and expand into each other, and that's just not going to work. So I'm definitely going to have to sort out Coburn a bit at some point, but we'll address that issue another time. What I want to do anyway is I want to continue on with the building of this line. So as we can see here, we have ourselves Prince Dobster. I do want to go ahead and put the station in pretty much straight away, and I want to do the same with Doncaster, actually. Doncaster should be quite easy because it is the end of the line. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Um, that's a very, very nice station, but I'm actually going to go for that end of the line station, just based on the fact that this is going to be the end of the line. I'm going to put two platforms in, and I'm going to make it really long, just for the sake of it, just because I can. I might go for 240 right now. The good thing is, with a place like Doncaster, it's going to be relatively easy to expand if I need to and we'll make that high speed there. So that is relatively central to the main part of the town and it's facing the direction I realistically expect the train line to come in. So let's go ahead and start building backwards. What I'm thinking is very much just run down to the coast, which should be quite easy to do and also very cheap to do as well. It is quite a good general gradient going down this hill so we can go ahead and follow it nice and easy like so however i'm gonna have to have a bridge here aren't i again i want to keep it a bit more natural so tell you what we are gonna have to or i want to follow the hill down make it just blend in a bit more though this really does weave doesn't it let's go ahead and get that big nice bend in there and we're going to have to have it cross back over the river here. Unfortunately, realistically, where's the station going to go in Prince Dobster? It's going to probably have to go at the top of the town here. So we're just going to delete some of this here. Realistically, I reckon if we build a road along the top here, like so, though, if this could be straight, that'd be much more ideal. We can just have you go to there and then build you into there like that. I think it suits being up the top here actually. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be a side on station. Two platforms. 240 meters will make this and we'll go ahead and have this here. So this station is really not ideally located within the town. It serves maybe a third of the town but it's probably going to need its own internal transport link. That being probably a tram or a bus of sorts. That does, however, mean though that we should be able to build this next part of the line relatively easy. So let's have a bridge over. Which looks very nice, by the way, actually. I wish the water... I'm on pause, that's why. Ha! <laughs> I was going to say, why is the water not moving? Water does look very, very nice there, though. It's not quite got the mirror effect uh, with the bridge, however... That is very intensive graphically. It's got a very nice shadow anyway, but it does look very, very nice. I'm going to get a lot of good thumbnails out of this very shortly. Anyway, let's go ahead and build this up. Uh, we could do a tunnel, but again, I just want to keep this realistic, to be honest. So let's have you cross over the... Can we have you... It's sort of going up and down this railway line. Yeah, this is not good at all, is it? Right, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that track I've just built. We have some ongoing alerts, actually. So I'm going to just put the game back on pause for now. I'm going to build out the station because that might be a little bit easier for the time being. So let's go ahead and build that like so. So that really wants us to build a tunnel. And I think I'm going to actually go for it, to be honest. Build two tunnels. Hmm... I'm not the biggest fan of tunnels, you know that. I really like to see a lot more of my track, and I've also already got quite a lot of tunnels so far on this map. So what we're going to do is we're not going to go for tunnels. I want to go ahead and just have the 
railway lines out in the open of anything. So it's literally following the old track that I did just build. Like so. So again, we're going to have to go ahead and improve this track at a later time once the trains are running. There is a lot of slow parts which we will be able to improve upon. But we'll just go ahead and very quickly get this built up and I'll go ahead and signal that shortly. So the final stretch I guess you could say is the stretch from here which is natively... Uh, is it gonna... I think we can maybe get this to come down the coast quite nicely. I would like it realistically to cross the river there. Again I don't want to go for a bridge though. It's done really nice to come along here actually. Just because there's that really big tunnel Again, I would like just most of the track anyway, and especially this is a really nice valley here, so if we can get it a sort of meandering up the valley, then that would be ideal. Problem is, the bridge does come in quite a bit higher, so we can always just go ahead and go for a sharp embankment, I guess you could say. Another weave, and now we're onto the flat here, which is super ideal, so we can go ahead and build that nice and easy. And then we should just be able to build right into the station. However, for some reason it will not let me, I think just because of this road, and I think I know why now there is a problem because that has not been reconnected from when I deleted the road. Alright, okay, so that works out quite nicely, that funnels into that track there, and then if we very quickly go ahead and do the other one, which I'll very quickly go ahead and do now, and then we can go ahead and get a train on this route. So there we have that line now fully sorted out. So running here from Maidstone through this large tunnel which goes underground, comes out here and quite sharply down the hill actually, uh, curves around and then heads along to Prince Dobster on a nice straight. General bend over the river, another wee bend to go up the hill and then we're back in to Doncaster. So I am not actually going to go ahead and put the train on the line from Maidstone, Prince Dobster and Doncaster just because Prince Dobster and Doncaster themselves will need quite a bit of infrastructure. However, I can go ahead and put a train on the Hetton over to Maidstone line and that should hopefully relieve the bus which was probably one of the main starting issues which we aim to address in this episode. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in the engine shed. Now because this is going to be a high speed train, it's not going to have like for example a class 37, very much those trains are going to be saved for goods routes. I'm going to be going for an intercity train of sorts, however I'm not at all sure. Typically I'd probably like to go for something like this just to start off with. I use these a lot and they are very good, however I feel like I should use something different. The RE commuter trains, I, uh, I've recently been on one of these in Italy actually, I was on my holiday this summer and they were really really interesting. The TGV duplex as well, I've seen quite a few of them on my travels, however they cost a lot more money. Realistically I don't think this train route is going to be overly expensive, so what I'm going to go for is I'm going to go for, first of all I'm going to need to build the train route, which that in itself shouldn't be too difficult to do. Right now there's actually only one train route serving this line, so that means there's not going to be too much problems anyway. So let's go ahead and name this, um, I guess, my old naming principles, eh? What are they? Uh, so we've got T, stands for train by the way, and then we've got, we're going from Hetton to Maidstone, just like so. So that now means I need to go ahead and delete this, which how do you do that again? Delete, there we go, perfect, right, so I need to go ahead and get the trains onto this. I don't think there's going to be an overly large demand, but I think it is worth having the route. So what we are actually going to do, I'm going to go against what I've just said, and I think we're going to go for, to be safe for now, we're going to start off with three of these. That cost me 45 million right there, however it should do the trick for the time being. This is from Hessen over to Maidstone, and that's been put on the line now, so... We'll let them go ahead and get moving and then I guess we'll wait a little bit and see how they're doing. So one thing to note while I'm getting this rail service up and going is the profitability of some of the individual routes. It's not at its best unfortunately. 
as we can see here some of the routes are not doing great and I think that will need to be addressed in the next episode. There's a lot of routes which also need modernised as well, a lot of them using trains I realistically wouldn't have such as this train over here. If we go to it, that was the wrong button but hey ho we are over here now as we can see this I called this route the the blue something like the blue star or something when it initially launched as you can see it's very blue but this is realistically not a train that should be on this route anymore the capacity demands have changed and the speed of the line as well it's probably not really maximizing it too well easily on the stretch you can get into the hundreds you can actually only get to 88 wow right okay I think I could do with a better train on the line that's the bottom line anyway and then going forward we can go ahead and just try and make a bit more money on a lot of this stuff because I do want to be efficient at the same time. Anyway, I think that is pretty much going to wrap this episode up ladies and gentlemen. Typically I want to be a lot more strict going forward with my 30 minutes. I realise I have run over a bit here but going forward I really do want to be nice and strict. I can see this being an upcoming issue actually going forward and that's something that I will address. I can't really have trains sitting here for too long so I can see myself building a flyover. I've got seven people coming back from Maidstone already which is interesting to see and that will most likely affect the bus route. As we can see 12 people waiting here. I can essentially now get rid of the bus route which connects up Hesson to Maidstone. The buses I believe come along here. Well, that's Telscom so anyway I'm pretty sure there is one that goes to Maidstone. We can go ahead and get rid of it anyway so people can start using the train a bit more. Anyway, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, please leave your comments and feedback down in the comments section below. This series is very much driven by user feedback. Right now, I'm recording about two to three episodes in a row as I am, I guess, going ahead and I don't have every single day to play. I do actually do some work on the side of making YouTube videos this summer. And then I'm also going to start pre-recording for America. So get your ideas in now, not just about individual trains that you want to see me do, but... Is there anything, for example, with certain towns you want to see me do? Because that could be very interesting. And I could go ahead and start to do that. Long term as well, I'd really like to get flying going on in here too. I can already see that I've started to prepare for other towns. We've already got a train station in there. So there's a lot to look forward to. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Bigfoot and I'm out.